Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Preetam. In this quick video, we will be talking about versions or instances in PTC Creo. So this particular feature I would say is very unique to PTC Creo and uh, you may or may not find in another software. So let's understand what is instances in PTC Creo. So while creating any model or assembly in Creo, you may notice uh, something and I'm going to explain you with the help of an example. So let's say you started working with a part and uh, let's say let's create something here. Um, till line. So we created some non-useful garbage model, I would say. But um, I think this is good. This could be a good example. Now um, I'm going to press save button and then uh, let me create this an example or maybe I will write instance. Okay. And now I'm going to save this model. And at the same time, I also want to open the location where I saved this model. Okay. So this is the folder where I have saved this data. And now let me just place it side by side. Okay. So now here you can see on the right hand side is the place where I saved this. Let me just adjust it. And now uh, let me close this model. Next day I came back and then I start again working on the same model. So I reopened it. And now um, today I made some more changes to this. And now again I will press save. So as I press save button again, here you can see I created one more instance or you can say another version. So whenever um, you know you create certain milestone in Creo, you can uh, you know save it and the software will actually generate new version for you. Okay. So this thing is known as instances. Actually get annoyed why this software is generating so much of uh, data or so much of instances. But uh, let me tell you guys, it is very helpful for us. Because whenever the instance is generated, it means that it is saving uh, every milestone or you can say every checkpoint. And whenever you feel that you went wrong, you can always start from that milestone or from that instance. For example, as of now, the latest instance looks like this, which have got these three feature, which is extrude round and cell. And if I want to work at certain point where I save this data. So now here we can see this instance looks like this. And now I realize that there is a problem with this design and I wanted to go back. So with Creo it is possible since we have generated, uh, you know, the instances. So now what I can do, I can actually see these different different instances in my system. And I realized that this one uh, was the milestone from where I want to modify my model. So now what I will do is I will delete all the later instances. Okay. So let me just delete all these later changes and let me now reopen this model. And there we go. And now here we can see we reached to our previous state. And now I can, you know, start working with this model from this state. So isn't it useful guys? We can always go back to any of our saved data since the Creo create a new instance every time. So that's how guys instance gives you kind of freedom of trying out new things without worrying about what will happen to my model. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope now you understand the benefits of having instances in PTC Creo. And actually if you want to know how we can turn it off then as of now I didn't saw any option to turn it off. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have got any kind of question or doubt then please do let us know in comment down below and we will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Till then take care and bye bye.